I wanted to create four character designs that would speak to children and embody the spirit of our nation's heroes while supporting the mission of Sheepdog Impact Assistance. The organization's mission is to reduce the suicide rate of military veterans, police, firemen, and EMTs. The name Sheepdog is based on the principle that most of the world is composed of sheep. However, because of the existence of wolves, there are some people who choose to run into danger when everyone else runs from it. These people are called Sheepdogs. Each character was created as an anthropomorphic dog taking on one of the four professions represented by the branches of the Sheepdog organization. Stylistically, the illustrations were created using bold line with vibrant color. Each character was very dramatically posed in a powerful heroic contrapposto. The characters' personalities are defined by their attire, expressions, and profession. The goal was to create character illustrations that easily translate to all forms of media and merchandise. The first step with each character was to create a mood board of reference images and color inspiration. First character we meet is a Sergeant Major, or Sarge. Rough around the edges with a huge heart, he's a quintessential stubborn military bulldog with years of experience and plenty of inspirational speeches. His trusty ruck pack always seems to have just what the team needs when they need it. Once the mood board was complete, I moved on to the rough character sketches. This is where the character literally starts to take shape. With rough and loose lines, I'm able to hash out the expressions, proportions, accessories, and character details. Because Sarge is full of grit and don't quit, I wanted him to be an amputee, proving that sheepdogs don't make excuses about jumping back in the fight. Here we have a mood board for our second character, a police dog named Blue. The German Shepherd was an easy choice here, but the tricky part would be creating a character that was a blend of kindness and ferocity. Blue is a brilliant dog with a Sherlock Holmes capacity for deductive reasoning. The only rival for his brain is his servant's heart. He would rather place himself in danger than see his friend suffer. I chose to have his front arm in a defensive position while the arm in the background seems more offensive. This is to show that his nature is to defend and that claws only come out when all else fails. The mood board for Chief the Fire Dog shows the obvious choice of Dalmatian. He is the youngest and most casual of the group. He is rarely seen without his lucky number 13 helmet and trusty pickaxe named Buster. Because of his youth, he feels it is necessary to add a personal touch to his look by allowing his suspenders to dangle carelessly in lieu of wearing them properly. The youngest in the group, but also the most agile and energetic, Chief is a bit of a whiz when it comes to, well, fixing anything, including world-class meals. He's drawn in a very dynamic running and twisting motion, full of movement and energy. This is different from Sarge and Blue, the two older dogs who are more stable and planted in their stances. He is also intended to be more lanky and lean than the other two male characters. The mood board for Mercy was really helpful in narrowing down some specific elements that define the look of an EMT. The tactical pants and medical bag really helped to flesh out her character. Also important was the reference illustrations of how other artists rendered feminine features on a dog character. I really liked the dainty features and bright blue eyes and the images I found of the blue lacy dog breed. Mercy's the sole female in the group and the nurturing balance they need. She's brilliant and her MCAS scores were off the charts, but decided she would rather be in the field than fight through the red tape of hospital politics. She's a healer through and through. She's even been known to patch up a wolf or two, which is how she got her name. Once happy with the rough sketch, I created a new layer making more clean and deliberate line art. When the line art was finished, I created a series of layers of flat, solid colors. After the flat colors were laid down, I created a shadow layer where I painted with black using a hard edge brush on a layer set to 50% opacity and a blending mode set to multiply. For the highlights, I painted white with a hard edge brush on a layer set to 30% opacity on a blend mode of overlay. Finally, I created a layer set to vivid light using a soft brush I simulated two light sources coming from their environment. For each subsequent character, I followed the same process I did with Sarge. Line art, flat color, and highlights and shadows. For Blue, I wanted his two light source to resemble the lights from his police car. Bright red on one side, bright blue on the other.
For each character, I created a unique background image that would not only reflect the individual professions and personality of each character, but also provide another tool for designers down the road to adapt to the many different forms of media and merchandise available. This allows each character to be their own brand within the parent brand. Having finished the character illustrations, I wanted to show how the artwork could adapt to various forms of merchandise, further promoting the brand. The first example is the action figure packaging, modeled not so loosely after the G.I. Joe packaging of the 1980s. The front is a billboard with the parent brand arching over the large character image reflective of the action figure inside the clear vacuum form package in the bottom right. The bold character colors contrasting against the stark black and white of the brand would be noticeable from several feet away. Each character has a short bio on the back of the card along with other members of the team that simply must be collected to complete the set. The next item is a sheepdog lunchbox, an essential back to school item. I created a full team lockup image for the front with individual team members on the sides. The individual layered Photoshop character files would allow designers some freedom to adapt the team as needed. I created the lunchbox using 3D modeling software and easily adapted the characters to fit the product. The Sheepdog backpack is as useful as it is cool. A large cropped image of your favorite character allows kids to proudly support their Sheepdog parents, heroes, and role models as they fill their heads with knowledge and their pack with books. Using a simple overlay and multiply effect in Photoshop over existing backpacks, we can see how this brand transcends on-screen pixels and exists in homes across the country. No self-respecting brand could exist without apparel allowing children to hit the halls or streets wearing their favorite sheepdog. Once again, allowing the designers some freedom to adapt the illustrations to current fashion patterns or trends, these four illustrations provide ample opportunity for more than just t-shirts. With the illustrations complete and the products designed, I created a sheepdog hotspot for retail stores across the country. Large, multi-dimensional signs attract children from halfway across the store. For this concept, I created a new group image that works well on vertical spaces, such as the signage in this image. After creating the new group image, I felt it would also make a great t-shirt, so I added it to the set. I created the products, signage, and store fixture in a 3D modeling software and applied the illustrations to various products.